Hi guys, today we're going to do a tutorial on um, being able to shoot in all directions, so 360 degrees, um, like in games um, Geometry Wars. So um, at some point we'll be doing a clone of Geometry Wars. And um, to start with, again, um, as always, create a package for this tutorial. I just noticed that. I always do this um, at the start of the video, and from this video on, I'll just assume that you've done this. Um, so, tutorial number 12 um, package, copy your template back to it, and you'll see something like this. So, we're going to do uh, again import everything or copy all imports, and we're going to um, create a class arrow or class bullet but it is represented in our case as an arrow, so I called it arrow. Okay, so point 2D uh, will represent a velocity, although that technically should be vector 2D, but um, in JavaFX geometry, point 2D also can be a vector 2D, or at least it has the same properties. Um, when we create an arrow, so public arrow, um, create f uh, one line, so this is going to be top line, um, just don't worry about the values, copy and paste them. Set stroke width, so that's width of the line, or how it will draw the line. Then stroke are um, the colors of each line, so the top line will be red and bottom line will be blue. Get children of the parent, add all, so new rectangle, which is the sort of body of the arrow, and line 1 and line 2. So rectangle is going to be um, 20 wide, of 20 units wide. Um, first we'll do this, so move is pretty easy. We set translate x um, to get translate x, which is the current position, and we add the x um, of our velocity, so um, the vector length in that um, axis. Uh, and same with the Y. Now on to set target. So this is basically where we um, shoot towards X and Y. And we'll later use uh, mouse clicks. So these will be mouse uh, coordinates. We first set translate X and Y of the arrow to 400. And I'll explain later. Um, it's basically a center of our... It will be a center of our screen. Velocity we, um, so this is the mathematical part that comes in. Um, new point 2D, we create a sort of point at this XY um, coordinate, which is the mass coordinate. We subtract from that point, which is our um, bullet's point, so get translate X and Y, so this is where our bullet or arrow currently is. We then normalize, so this is brings uh, this brings the length of the vector to unit vector, which is one. So the length will be one, and then we will multiply it by five, so that the unit vector will now be uh, of length five. Uh, we'll calculate the angle um, of the vector uh, regarding the x axis, so that when we shoot the arrow, it is rotated correctly. We get transform, so this is basically where JavaFX object or JavaFX node stores its um, transforms. We clear it, so we can apply a new one. Um, new rotate, this is the angle that we retrieve by calculation. Zero, zero is the pivot point around which to rotate. So uh, by default it rotates around the center, but we don't want that because we will be rotating the bullet around its um, zero, zero coordinate. Okay, that's for the arrow. So we're going to create our arrow. I call it bullet, because it is typically a bullet. Uh, we set size of our root node to 800. And 800, so our window will be a square. And then we add um, get children add. So this line, which is um, in x direction 400, so it will be center. This will represent 
a y axis. This will represent an x axis. You will see when um, I run the application. And we add our board. Then we'll go back to our um, handling of input. So this is uh, pretty easy. Set and mouse clicked, take an event, uh, board set target. So whenever we click, we retrieve the X and Y values of the mouse and then set um, the board's target to that um, point or coordinate in that space. This is possibly something new you haven't seen before. I don't remember if I've done this. So this is another way of doing um, loop 60 frames per second but a little bit easier I guess because it just gives you all the stuff that you need to do create an animation timer um, you override this um, handle method and what we need to do every um, frame is just move the bullet and we start the timer so that should be easy um, what do we have left just the calculate methods. Like with the previous um, code injection tutorial, I've done um, several methods, so one is automatic and the other are manual, manual calculation. So, so first I'll just run the application and then see how that goes. So these are the lines that I told you about. So this is um, the y axis, this is the x axis, these are the two lines, and our bullet is this, and whenever I click the uh, scene, so that's here, but we set target um, x, y um, of the mouse, so if I click this here, um, the, mouse, uh, the bullet will go towards this position. And it calculates it by uh, doing this, which we've gone through. So it subtracts this point, um, subtracts, uh, sorry, the bullet's position from this point, then normalizes it, and then multiplies by 5. So it will move 5 um, units to, towards that direction. We calculate an angle at which to um, sort of draw the board or rotate the board by passing um, this is pretty much all we need passing the X and Y of the vector automatic um, angle calculation we use a um, method that is supplied by JavaFX so we create a new point 2D um, which is um, like I said can be used as a vector 2D and angle um, against um, this axis, so 1, 0, because this is how the bullet looks when we draw it by default. And this is the axis um, around sort of which we are, not around which, um, against which we're rotating, if that makes sense. So that will return the um, angle between that vector um, and the um, x-axis. If that doesn't make sense, you should probably um, have a look at uh, some basic trigonometry that will explain stuff much better. And if we go back to the angles, because this is angle um, that is being retrieved only for uh, certain values, so I just um, pressed control health control and pressed on the angle method which goes to the source code and gives me the source code of that um, method as you can see they use um, ACOS and if you hover over the uh, method it gives you the Java doc for that method so it says that it is um, the angle which is in the range 0 through pi which is 0 which is here and pi which is here so if we didn't do this check then our actually let me show you so if we don't do correction if we return this all the time as you can see it is doing weird things 
it is correct for this, but it isn't for that. So if um, the vector uh, y is greater than zero, then we we'll pass an angle, and if not, then we we'll pass the minus angle. So it works correctly. Now if we do the manual calculation, uh, it's pretty much the same calculation except it is not based off um, Java FX call. So all of this is calculated by standard Java library. We, uh, so yeah, that's the only we're doing. Because the tangent is basically vector y divided by vector x. And this is the value of tangent of that angle. So in order to get the actual angle, we need to do the reverse, which is a tan of vector y divided by vector x. Again, you should probably go to some kind of math related tutorial and um, brush up on your mathematics. Um, they'll be able to explain it much better than me. It returns an angle in radians, uh, so we need to convert them to degrees. And if we check that, it, get, um, it says that it's, uh, the angle is in the range minus pi over 2 and pi over 2, which is um, this uh, these quadrants. So if vector um, x is greater than 0, then it's fine. But if it's um, that way, then we need to add 180 so that everything works correctly. Finally, the same thing except instead of a tan we use um, a sin um, or um, yeah so basically we do an extra step of calculating the hypotenuse which we don't really need when we can do this. Um, yeah and starting from next tutorial um, I'll do something a bit more complex that will go over several tutorials and yeah as always leave your comments um, and suggestions below and thank you for watching